For the storm water activity, you will need two aluminum pans, enough sponges to cover the bottom of one aluminum pan, as well as plastic bags, your best management practice cards, your storm water worksheet, a graduated cylinder, and a measuring cup with 250 milliliters of water. So our sponges and plastic bags represent our landscape, whether it be permeable or impermeable. And one of our aluminum pans will have a hole in it, and this represents our storm drain. And the second pan is to gather that water when it goes through the storm drain. So to start the activity, you want all of your sponges inside of the plastic bags, and you want to put them down on the bottom of your pan. And you're gonna take your 250 milliliters of water and pour it over your sponges. And you want there to be a nice slope so that the water will flow into the stormwater drain. And once all of your water goes through your stormwater drain, we'll measure it to see how much water ran off. So about 225 milliliters of water ran off, so I'm going to put that under part two, amount of runoff. And then you will subtract that amount from the original amount of water to find out how much water was retained in your model. So now uh, you want to get your amount of water back to 250, and we're going to use our best management practice cards. As you go through your best management practices, be sure to mark it off on our list and whether or not you've seen this in your community. With all the sponges inside of our plastic bags, that represents an impermeable surface because the water just ran off and did not permeate the surface. So now we are going to use our best management practice cards to change our impermeable surface into a more permeable surface. Each best management practice card will tell you what your best management practice is, explain it, what the benefits are, and then at the bottom it gives you instructions on what to do with your model. So my first card is trees. Trees take up water by their roots and through evapor evapotranspiration, return water to the atmosphere and the water cycle. Trees also provide shade that can cool their surroundings, like your home, yard, or a nearby stream. The benefits are by planting trees you will help to beautify your community. Trees reduce the reflected heat from the sun's rays hitting the ground or pavement. Trees pro provide habitat for wildlife. And the instructions are to remove two sponges put back into the tray after they have been removed from the plastic bag. So as it states, I'll open up my plastic bag, remove two sponges, and then reseal my plastic bag and put both the plastic bag and the two uh, sponges that are out of the plastic bag back into my model. <clears throat> my next best management practice is rain barrels and dry wells. They are a method of capturing stormwater runoff from rooftops. Water can be conveyed in gu water can be conveyed in gutters from buildings and diverted to rain barrels for storage. The stored water can be used for gardens and watering plants. By capturing rainwater, you reduce the amount of water needed from your hose to water your garden. This helps conserve water and save money. You also reduce the amount of stormwater that runs into nearby storm drains and streams from impermeable roofs. Remove two sponges. Porous concrete is paving material that allows water to pass through it and be absorbed into the soil and ground underneath. The benefits are that they reduce runoff by allowing water to soak directly through the concrete surface into the soil below, and they help prevent the washing of oil and gasoline into nearby waterways. Remove one sponge. Naturescaping uses native plants as in the stormwater garden in Arizona. 
Native plants are wild plants adapted to the local geography and climate. They are considered better suited to withstand the regional climate and storm cycles. The benefits are that they capture and release runoff water more slowly than impermeable surfaces. They absorb water and filter contaminants before they reach waterways, and they provide habitat for native wildlife. Remove two sponges. Community action. Water can be protected by actions people adopt. Cleaning up after pets, not littering, and never throwing items down a storm drain all help protect water quality and the watershed. The benefits of this is that cleaning up after pets and not littering keeps animal waste and trash from was washing into streams where it can harm aquatic life. Remove one sponge. A rain garden is a planted depression that allows stormwater to be absorbed as it runs off of hard surfaces such as roofs, driveways, parking lots, walkways, and roads. Rain gardens are most successful when developed using native wetland plants. Rain gardens reduce runoff into streams and lakes by slowing and capturing water from impermeable surfaces. They filter pollutants from water before it can re reach other bodies of water. They provide a habitat for native plants and animals. Remove one sponge. An eco or green roof is a roof on a building that is partially or completely covered with plants and soil. This absorbs stormwater and also helps to cool cities. They reduce the amount of water that runs off suddenly from an impermeable roof. They provide a cooling effect to the surrounding air and they insulate the building and reduce energy costs. Remove two sponges. Riparian buffer is an area of trees and other vegetation on either side of a river or stream that reduces runoff and erosion caused by stormwater. The benefits are that they disperse and slow runoff from adjacent areas, they absorb water and filter dissolved contaminants that are captured in the buffer, and they help prevent erosion of the stream bank. Remove three sponges. Wet holding ponds. Wet holding ponds are able to capture, store, and filter water generated by storms. The benefits are, wet holding ponds keep streams from being overwhelmed by more water than they can handle. They reduce polluted water from directly entering a stream, river, or lake. And they become habitat for aquatic plants and animals. Remove three sponges. Planters and swales are other areas of built up soil or other absorbent materials with grasses and other vegetation planted on top. This helps to keep stormwater from running off the sidewalk and pouring into storm drains. The benefits are they slow and absorb runoff that would usually make its way into the storm drain. They help to beautify streets and neighborhoods. Remove one sponge. So with all your sponges out of the plastic bag and 250 milliliters of water, you're going to pour that over your now permeable surface. Once the water finishes draining, we're going to pour it out and measure it again. I'm going to pour this into my graduated cylinder to get a more accurate reading. The amount of water that ran off my model is 11 milliliters. So now I'm going to subtract that from the original amount of water, which was 250, to find out how much water was retained in my model. And I'm also going to mark any observations that I made.